What is up everybody and welcome to the Minecraft enchantment video that you guys have all been long awaiting for. This is your boy Cheeseburger Ready and I, as always hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Appreciate you stopping by. Today what we are covering and we're what we're talking about is how to get max enchantments. The best enchantments very simply, very easily. There's two different strategies we're going to talk about and then also a few things that you can do to kind of amplify your chances. Now, normally in your Minecraft world, whether it's in a realm or just your regular solo survival, if you want to enchant a, a pickaxe, for example, you put it inside your enchantment table, you're leaving this up to complete chance. When you put it in there, the max enchantment, as you can see, was Silk Touch 1. Now, there might be some additional things on there, but that is complete chance. How do we increase our odds? How do we make sure we get the things we want, such as mending, for example? Well, if you get yourself, firstly, a librarian villager farm. And this is very simple to make. I mean, there's so many YouTube videos on how to get villagers into an actual farm like this. Uh, but all you gotta do is boat them into certain areas or just capture them into certain areas. And you can actually guarantee yourself a very great trade uh, such as that Infinity One Bow or that Infinity One Enchantment Book. This guy right here actually has Mending One, which is amazing. That's one of the best enchantments in the game. Um, he's hiding, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and talk to him real quick, see what he's actually got. As you can see, Mending One. His second enchantment is Feather Falling Four and then Looting Three. And then a Mystery Book in the last one. So basically, what you're going to want to do here, guys, is when you enchant and trap all these, well, actually, let's first talk about all the different variations of villagers you have librarians you have toolsmiths farmers shepherds butchers fishermen fletcher armorer cleric or cleric stone masons leather workers weaponsmiths and obviously your nitwits that are green shirted that don't do anything now every single one of these villagers for the most part will trade you something and they all have their benefits but what we're going to focus on today is the librarian the reason why is because they will trade you the enchanted books that may have some great enchantments, not just Mending One, not just Infinity One, uh, the two that we've kind of, you know, lasered in in our farm, but also all the different ones. You guys can get some enchanted, like enchantments that are just amazing. Power Three, you can combine it with another Power Three and get Power Four, you know, all those. So basically what you're gonna do to ensure yourself a great enchantment book is if you keep destroying his workstation, like so, you can see he goes back to the regular unemployed person and if you put it back down, as you can see now, he's offering something different. You can keep doing this until he offers something that you want. Now, once you trade with this villager, this librarian, that trade's gonna be locked in. So you wanna make sure before you trade with any of them that they have the trades you want. So Infinity One, for example, bookshelf I'm not really interested in, so I'm gonna destroy his station in a little while. In a little while. Same for, goes for here. But Mending One, I'm keeping this guy. And there's another way you guys can do it. There's something else you can do to make this cheaper for yourself, actually. And that's let a zombie hit this guy, turn him into a zombie villager, and then once you cure them, they'll be a lot cheaper. Uh, when you actually want to trade with them. That's another strategy that we can cover in a later video. But anyways, guys, how you're going to do this second strategy is you need to have tons of books. So obviously sugarcane, which makes paper, you need leather to make the books. And basically this is, I'm just trying to go old school and, uh, and actually just put it in the, in the enchantment table myself, or not the enchantment table, but the crafting table. Uh, but you can just obviously pick the auto clicker and, and make it go for you. So as soon as you have tons of books, right? cows obviously with the leather as soon as you have tons of books the other strategy that you can do to get the specific enchantments you actually want is you just need books lapis lazuli i guess if that's what you want to call it uh and then you just need to enchant the books now a lot of y'all might say oh well why don't i just enchant the pickaxe well again because you might not want silk touch one and then the chance of just not getting anything beneficial to it so if we put a book inside the enchantment table and give ourselves a shot respiration three not really interested but if we click it as you can see fortune three underneath that one that's a really good enchantment for a pickaxe so you can obviously just keep enchanting tons of books and everyone's probably asking eddie but i don't have that many levels like huh i don't want to waste all my levels i'm just enchanting books well that's why you have to have an op xp farm in your world such as this one it is may 29th today and this thing works like an absolute charm i actually just built this one yesterday this one took me about four hours reason why is because you have to cook every single potato you have to let this thing cook in its own right you can't just put items in the bottom chest you have to let it fill naturally and just have all of these items just cook and fill up the chest and the bottom hopper and that's what's going to give you the xp one click gets you up to like level i mean 30 in one click pretty much 
Takes a long time, is it worth it? Yes, because now I have the ability to get unlimited enchantments. Wanted to show you guys this piece, because this is the second strategy. Levels are not a concern to me right now, because this XP farm works wonders. The only thing you need to make sure you have is a ton of books, a ton of lapis lazuli, and then obviously the levels to make this strategy work. Because once you start getting all these enchanted books, for example, if you get your infinity one, or if you get your enchantment you were looking for, great. But if not, let's say you were looking for power five and you got a power two and a power two and a power three. You can combine all those books and actually get yourself up to a power, f I mean, I think that'd actually can get yourself up to a power four or power five bo uh, book. But what I'm trying to say is, is that this is a strategy that you can use to make sure you're getting all of the enchantments you want. And look at this book right here. Obviously it has all the good stuff on it. I'm gonna keep that one in the back pocket and just keep, keep going. Um, the only thing you're gonna have to worry about is obviously making sure you have enough lapis enough books but the levels are not a concern because if you keep going back up to the xp farm you can obviously just keep going and making these levels just go insane now you can give yourself you can obviously do the chance technique by just putting your pickaxe inside of the the uh the uh, enchantment table and see what you get but that's just not it's not the best way to do it obviously i think what we're cover what we've covered today is the two strategies Get yourself a villager farm, just showing you a quick clip on how to get the villagers into the actual farm by getting them into a boat and just kind of rowing them over to their spot. Um, and if you have a bed over here at nighttime, they'll actually get attached to it and they'll just walk over to it because that's, that's all they care about. But anyways, guys, again, I think a villager farm, very useful. And I also think the XP farm is extremely useful just to get your max level enchantments, to get any enchantment you want, really, and just ensure that your Minecraft world is, is amazing. As you can see, Within 30 minutes, we filled up two chests full of enchanted books. And again, if they're level one or level two books, you can just combine them with another level one or level two and get yourself the highest enchantments of all time. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed the episode, I really need you guys to show some support. Leave your boy a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel because we got so many more topics, so many more things we're going to be covering in Minecraft. More so Minecraft Bedrock. So if you're a fan of Bedrock, make sure you stay tuned. We have so many additional things to cover. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. I love you all so much. See you in the next one. Take it easy. Peace.